de re militari. The company stood at port arms in the exercise pit with bayonets fixed. My boots were in the chips and slivers of black rubber that formed the floor of the pit, and my bayonet was skyward and heavy at the end of the barrel. It would be hard to shoot with this thing on, I thought. We were formed up in the pit as a large square with plenty of space between us. Drill Sergeant Baez was on the wooden platform in front of us giving commands, and other drill sergeants patrolled our ranks. You have now been shown all the possible offensive and defensive movements with a fixed bayonet. His voice carried with strong projection and was distinct and loud. You have also practiced these movements individually. But in combat, one movement will never be sufficient. Now you will practice three movement attack combinations. You may choose your own combinations, he said. There was music in that Puerto Rican voice. Inflections that rolled smoothly into and out of one another, devoid of the snap that was so curt like a whip when he gave commands. I will ask you this question. What is the spirit of the bayonet? You will then begin your combination of attack while also sounding off with to kill, to kill, to kill without mercy. Then I will ask you this question. What makes the grass grow? And you will begin a second combination while sounding off with blood, blood, bright red blood. You will sound off and will practice the killing of the enemy when he is in close. Remember, if they have gone within range of your blade, then the only option left is to survive. To survive, you will kill quickly, with purpose, and with vigor, he said, with a protracted roll of the R in vigor. We will continue this exercise until your drill sergeants affirm that you have learned adequately to wield your bayonets on the offensive, he said. My mind bustled through the moves we had just learned, and I decided my first combination would be a butt stroke to the head, then a downward slash from left to right, and then a thrust and hold to the throat. The music in Baez explaining vanished, and he lashed the command, Attack position! Move! And I threw my left leg forward a half step angled my bayonet slightly upward in front of me, crouched and coiled into myself like a rattlesnake. Then he let fly his first question. What is the spirit of the bayonet? To kill! I screamed and punched the rifle butt hard into the imagined face of my enemy. To kill! I screamed again, slashing hard down through the clavicle and sternum. To kill without mercy! And finished with a thrust, twist, and hold to the windpipe. Baez shouted again with a real interrogative relish in his voice. What makes the grass grow? Three hundred of us cried together. Blood! And I drove a butt stroke hard to the jaw. Blood! And I smashed the face with the bottom of the butt stock and dropped the weapon low and bellowed, Bright red blood! And finally brought the bayonet like a scythe through the midsection, eviscerating. Whirl! Baez barked and 300 of us faced about and were ready to fight someone else now with Baez at our back. What is the spirit of the bayonet? And we gave answer. 